Namaste children, I am Nisha here, your English teacher from Mangla Vidya Mandira. So today in this video we are learning the last lesson of the honeysuckle textbook, The Banyan Tree, which is written by whom? Ruskin Bond. So children, uh, as I told you, uh, open page number 124 in your textbook, Honeysuckle. So we will start with the reading. Like before starting the reading, I just wanted to give a small introduction about the lesson. The author Ruskin Bond narrates an incident of a fight between a mongoose and a cobra that he witnessed as a young boy while sitting under a banyan tree at his grandparents' house. So children, shall we start with the lesson? Have you ever seen a mongoose? You have read in lesson number 9 that a mongoose can fight with and kill a snake. Look at the picture and read the lines given along with them. So here a small introduction has been given about the life story of mongoose as well as cobra. The fight of the cobra and the mongoose is a classic drama often sees in India and the outcome in largely the same. The mongoose is not immune to the venomous bite but is faster and quicker in motion than the snake. The cobra assumes a posture of defense and attempts to match to reach the animal by a sweeping strike but the quick moving mongoose jumps out of reach and comes all the snake from another direction before the snake can get into striking position the constant movement tires and discourages the snake and the mongoose is finally able to leap in close and bury its teeth in the snake's neck usually severing the joints of its vertebra so children do you know like uh, have you ever seen the fight between mongoose and the cobra it is said that mongoose has an ability to fight and kill the venomous snake particularly the cobras the mongoose basically uses the techniques to kill the snakes uh, how they means they will dodge at the snakes as the mongoose will move quickly and jumps out of reach and comes from the other direction before the snake can get into striking position again and again and this is called dodging so what is meant by dodging means uh, to move quickly from one side to another side to get out from the skillful way the mongoose keeps this technique repeatedly and when the snakes get really tired it quickly attacks the snake by burying his teeth okay what they will do they will bury his their teeth in the snake's neck and it will attack on the vertebra straight away of the snake and that will make the snake killed so in this chapter the author narrates a fight between mongoose and cobra that he witnesses as a young boy while sitting under a banyan tree on his grandparents residence on his grandparents house so children let's read part one look at the picture children here you can see the mongoose as well as the snake's angle so part one though the house and grounds belong to the to my grandparents and the magnificent the magnificent means marvelous old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at 65 could no longer climb it now the author is at grandparents place okay magnificent means marvelous and there is a old banyan tree and what he is thinking now the tree belongs to him because his grandfather is 65 year old and now he is not in a position to climb the tree number two it's spreading branches okay it's spreading branches which hung to the ground and took root again forming a number of distilling passages gave me endless pressure pleasure among them were squirrels 
and snails and butterflies. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as Dehradun itself. I could hide myself in its branches behind thick green leaves and spy on the world below. Now, as the author is leaving with his grandparents' house in Dehradun, there was a huge banyan tree in the yard. The tree is all is having squirrels, snakes, and butterfly. And also the author has made a platform on it for hiding and reading. So what he is telling, like there are branches where thick green leaves are also there. And from that place he can spy me secretly watch the entire world below. Okay, what all happenings are there he can observe from the top of the branch of the tree. My first friend was a small grey squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the hair he seemed at first to resent any invasion of his privacy but when he found that i did not arm myself with cataplate cataplemus attack or air gun he became friendly and when i started becoming bringing him pieces of cake and biscuits he grew quite bold and was soon taking morsels from hand before long he was del delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find he was very strong squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him foolish and had strong for trusting a human now here uh, his first friend was a small squirrel what he used to do he become friendly with him and when the squirrel also got confident about the author he also started moving with him and within meantime what he did he offered it a pieces of cake and biscuits it grew bold and began to take out food items even from his pocket during the uh, even from his pocket and that made like uh, the his relatives like the squirrels relatives and friends uh, like in they have a thought in their mind that how foolish this squirrel has become because he started trusting a human being in the spring when the banyan tree was full of small red figs birds of all kinds would flock into the branches the red bottomed bulbul cheerful and greedy parrots mina and crows squabbling squabbling means fighting over small things with one another during the season the banyan tree was noisiest place in the garden now during the fig season what will happen the tree was very noisy place made by because there are so many uh, birds and so many birds are there like parrots mina nightingales and crows and from this banyan tree platform the author used to look down at the world below and what happened like during this fig season the banyan tree the entire tree was become very noisy halfway of the tree i had built a crude platform crude means primitive platform where i would spend the afternoon when it was not too hot i could read three there propping propping means leaning myself up against the tree with a cushion from the living room treasure island huckleberry finn and the story of Dr. Doolittle were some of the books that made up my banyan tree library. Now what happens like during the afternoon, okay, what happens when all were sleeping, that time he would like to go to the tree when it was not that hot. He could reach the uh, branches of the tree and he will lean himself. By taking a cushion from the living room, he will just add, he will just put the cushion on the tree, on the branches of the tree and he will lean himself there and the author started reading the books, okay, like Treasure Island, Huckleberry, Finn and the story of Dr. Little. Uh, this, those were the books he was reading and he has made uh, almost a small library on the banyan tree. When I did not feel like reading, I could look down through the leaves at the world below and on one particular afternoon, I had a grandstand. Grandstand means a very clear view of that classic of the Indian wilds, a fight between a mongoose and the cobra. 
so when i what happened like he always try to read by being there on the banyan tree but uh, there was a day when he don't feel like reading so what he did he just closed the book and he started looking down so there he saw uh, like he, it was a classic drama it's going to happen a fight between a mongoose and a cobra part 2 the warm breezes of approaching summer had sent everyone including the gardener into the house i was feeling drowsy myself wondering if i should go to the pond and have a swim with ramu and the butterf- and the buffaloes when i saw a huge black cobra gliding gliding means sliding out of the clump clump means bunch of cactus at the same time a mongoose emerged from the bushes and went straight for the cobras so what happened like the it was a summer season and he was feeling little lazy drowsy and he thought let me go to the pond and have a good swim with ramu like his friend and the buffaloes what who was there when he was about to move he saw a huge black cobra sliding out of the a uh, bunch of the cactus at the same time what happened he observed the mongoose also coming out of the bush and he just went straight to the cobra in a clearing beneath beneath means under children the banyan tree in bright sunshine they came face to face the cobra knew only too well that the gray mongoose 3 feet long was a super fighter clever and aggressive aggressive is enthusiastic but the cobra too was a skillful and experienced fighter he would swiftly swiftly miss very fast move and strike with the speed of light and the sacks sacks means children a part of a animal behind his long sharp fangs were full of deadly poison it was to be a battle of champions now uh, already uh, the what we call the cobra knew that the mongoose is is a super fighter but at the same time the cobra was thinking that i am also an experienced fighter when i have few techniques and slowly they started coming into the light and they were forming a battle okay one kind of battle they have formed and it was uh, among two champions they both were thinking they were champions hissing defense okay hissing defense uh, his forked tongue darting in and out the cobra raised three of his six feet of the ground and spread his broad spectacled hood the mongoose bushed his tail the long hair on his spine stood up so what happened like the cobra raised his body three feet of the ground the mongoose also kept its size fixed below the cobra's hood the fight between the champions began now there were three onlookers on the fight what is uh, who are they the other the mina and the wild crow though the combine though the combat competence competence miss participants were unaware of my presence in the tree they were soon made aware of the arrival of two other spectators one of the mina and the other a jungle crow they had seen this preparation for battle and had Uh, settled on the cactus to watch the outcome had they been content only to watch all would have been well with both of them now they were not aware that the other is watching along with the two spectators that is one is uh, mina and the other one is whom other one is crow so they both are watching along with the author that entire game what is happening there the cobra stood on the defensive swaying slowly from side to side trying to mesmerize the mongoose into making a false move but the mongoose knew the power of his opponent's glazy the uh, unwinkingly eyes unwinking eyes and they refused to meet them instead of he fixed his gaze at a point just below the cobra's hood and opened to attack now what happened like the mongoose moved swifter than the snake it uh it, it what they were doing like they were uh, like dodging each other okay they were easily dodging each other and they were focusing also ki when some person will lose the confidence immediately the other person can attack 
मूविंग फॉरवर्ड क्विकली अंटिल ही वॉज जस्ट विद इन द कॉब्रास रीच द मंगूस मेड अ प्रिटेंडेड प्रिटेंड में जस्ट एक्टिंग मूव टू वन साइड इमीडिएटली द कॉब्रा स्ट्रक ही इज ग्रेट हुड केम डाउन सो स्विफ्टली दैट आई थॉट नथिंग गुड सर्व द सेव द मंगूस बट द लिटल फेलो जम्पड नीटली टू वन साइड एंड डार्टेड इन एस ए स्विफ्टली एस द कोबरा बाइटिंग द स्नेक ऑन द बैक एंड डार्टिंग अवे अगेन आउट ऑफ रीच सो वट हैपन लाइक दे कीप ऑन डूइंग द अटैम्प्ट एंड इन द सेकेंड अटैम्प्ट ऑल्सो वेंट इन टू वेन इन द थर्ड अटैम्प्ट वॉट वॉट दे डिड लाइक दे हैव ही जस्ट बिट द स्नेक ऑन द बैक ओके ही जस्ट ट्राई द मंगूस बिट द स्नेक ऑन द बैक At the same time, at the same moment that the cobra struck, the crow and the mina hurled, hurled means come into conflict themselves at him, only to collide heavily in midair, shrieking insult at each other. They returned to the cactus plant. A few drops of blood glistened, means shone, on the cobra's back. So when they both were fighting, what the what the crow and the mina did, they also come in. They also came between. them so that uh, they can also join them in the fight they wanted to trouble the snake so they can meanwhile they saw a few a uh, few blood drops were there on the cobra's back the cobra struck and missed them. again the mongoose sprang aside jumped in a and bit again the birds dived at the snake bumped into each other instead and returned shrieking to the safety of the cactus so the birds are also coming in between the fight and the moment the snake is attacking again they will go and sit on the cactus plant the third round followed the some course as the five as the first but when with one dramatic difference the crow and the mina still determined to take part in the proceedings dived at the cobra but this time they missed each other as well as their mark the mina flew on and reached its perch reached me settled Uh, but the crow tried to pull up in mid air and turn back in the second that it took the bird to do this the cobra whipped his head back and struck with a great force okay and what whipped means moved he snout thudded against the crow's body now when the fight was on the uh, there was a dramatic difference the crow and the mina as they were very much interested to take part in the fight Uh, they also dived at the cobra but this time what happened like mina just moved out but unfortunately the snake attacked the crow crow's body i saw the bird flung near by 20 feet across the garden it fluttered about a while then lay still the mina remain at the on the cactus plant so the crow was struggling to live and after some time it died okay and the mina what did what the mina did it moved to the cactus plant and when the snake and the mongoose returned to the fight very wisely decided not to interfere again now the mina understood when the crow died the mina understood when they both are fighting it's better i will stay away from them i will not get interfere in their fighting the cobra was weakening and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raised himself on his short legs and with a lightning snap had the big snake by the snout the cobra writhed and lashed writhed lashed means to beat violently about in frightening manner frightening manner and even coiled itself about the mongoose but to no way away the little fellow hung grimly on under the snake and a ceased to struggle he then smelt along its quivering length gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes so what happened like uh, the they keep on making the attempt and finally what happened in the third attempt as the crow was bitten by the snake and it fell dead uh, as i told you mina kept sitting on the cactus plants the fight went on for quite some more time the cobra grew tired and weak okay because he understood uh, now i am not going to sur- survive with him because he he keep on dodging the mongoose keep on dodging and the cobra become weak and tired the mongoose caught the cobra by its mouth and what happened the cobra coiled itself round its enemy but it could struggle no more the mongoose dragged it into the bushes finally he killed and he dragged it into the bushes the mina dropped cautiously to the ground hopped about peered into the bushes 
from a safe distance and then with a shrill cry shrill means high pitch of congratulation flew away so the mina flew down and looked into the bushes but it had no success and finally he congratulated the mongoose and it flew away so children it's a very beautiful story which the author has narrated okay when when he was a small boy and when he has went to his grandparents house what he experienced the fight between the cobra and the mongoose he has just narrated in this small story short story that is the banyan tree so children let's wind up today's class and this is as i told it's a short story written by ruskin bond and uh, which he has already experienced in his childhood okay and uh, till then next class see you in the next class there will be a continuation of this video in part 2 the exercise part i will be covering under covering on the in the part 2 video so children till then thank you